Good day and welcome to Mastering Dropbox. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to change the default location of your files in Microsoft Excel to be saving, uh, saved in uh, Dropbox instead. So whenever you create a file in Microsoft Excel, the default location is it's going to save it to the My Documents folder on your computer. Well, I'm going to show you how to change that so that it's saving within a folder inside of your Dropbox. Now, I went through this process with Microsoft Word, and uh, that video should be online by now, but if not, it, it should be there in the next little bit. Uh, but there's a slight difference between the two. They're very similar in the process, but uh, for some reason, uh, Microsoft made this one a little different. I don't know why, but let me go ahead and show you. So under, all you have to do is go ahead and click, now this is a Microsoft Excel 2013. I'll show you, I have a couple screenshots there for an older version. It's a very similar process, so if you have a different version than this, then it should still be very similar to do, this, do the uh, change. So first thing you do is go ahead and click on File, Oops. click on File, and then Options. And on the left, go ahead and click on Save. And then right here, you've got the default fall, uh, default local fall location, which I currently have it set to D drive and a documents folder, just because that's where I uh, have my files at the moment, which is a larger hard drive. Now, you want to change this address to be your Dropbox address. Now, when I did this in Word, uh, this is a uh, Microsoft Word, and I went into File, Options, Save, and default file location, the exact same process with the exact same version. This is Microsoft Word 2013. That's Microsoft Excel 2013. Exact same process, but look at the difference. This one has a browse where I can click on browse and then I can click on Dropbox and I can choose the folder that I want to save it in. But when I do this in Excel, there's no option for browse. Uh, maybe if I extend it, nope. There's no option for a browse. I don't know why. The browse is not here. The browse is not there, but it is down here. In Word, the browse is on all three locations. So I don't know why. I don't know if it, maybe it's a glitch with my version of Word or, the, or my version of Excel. But in either case, if you don't have the browse button, all you have to do is type in the address. So if you click on this is not going to be the right spot, but if you click on the fall folder and then click on Dropbox and then click on, I'm going to gray out all this, then click on whatever folder you have set up for Excel documents. So for in my case, I have a folder called My Documents and I have a folder called Microsoft and I have a folder called Excel Docs. So as you, if you, oh, sorry, as you can see here, I have a folder inside of my Dropbox called My Documents inside of that I have a folder called Microsoft and inside of that I have a folder called Excel documents now if I want this to be my location for my uh, default location in Excel I can just click here to the right and it gives me the address the D whatever I can right click on it I can choose copy I can come back to my Excel I can highlight what I want to replace and I can go ahead and right click and I can choose paste and now I can save this and what will happen is that any new file I create in Microsoft Excel will default be saved to my Dropbox folder inside of the Excel Docs folder which is inside of my Microsoft folder inside of my, my Documents folder so that Anytime I create any Excel spreadsheets, it's automatically saved in Dropbox. And the, the big benefit of this is that Dropbox will automatically sync this file. So any, every time I save it, Dropbox will say, take that saved copy and go ahead and upload it to their server, go ahead and sync it across my devices. So it'll always be uh, up to date across all my devices. A second benefit of this is uh, I've covered in another video is version history so whenever you save your file in Excel for example that file will get saved and uploaded online and when it does that it'll create a, a history of that so there will be a version history so that means that if you make a mistake and then save it don't that uh, 
you still have a copy of the previous file before it was saved. So all you have to do is once you save it and realize you're making a mistake, you can go into your Dropbox folder, right click on the file and choose version history, or you can go in on the website, choose the file and right click and choose version, version history. And that will allow you to restore a previous version of the file. So you can go in and restore the version that was correct prior to you uh, saving it when you didn't want to. If you want to know, want to uh, have more instructions on how to do that, I should have another video on this channel to uh, be able to show you how to go ahead and uh, view version history of the fall and restore them. So just check out that video if you want more instructions on that. But that's it. This is how you go ahead and change the default fall location in Microsoft Excel. If you don't have the browse button, then you do what I just did. Just bring up your folder, find the folder you want to put it in, copy the address, and paste it in here and press OK. If your version is working where it should have that browse, then just go ahead and choose browse, and then find the folder and select it, and then press OK. So that's how you do it. Very simple process, pretty much identical to Word. Now, if you had an older version of Microsoft Excel, I've done this in the past where I've showed, showed someone how to do it. So I've created, I've had these screenshots on my computer. So I'm just going to walk you through these screenshots and show you the exact same process and, and show you that it's pretty much the same thing, even on an older version as it is on the newer version. So on Dropbox, I'm sorry, on the older version, you go and click this icon in the top left-hand corner and then click on Excel options. Then go ahead and click on the save, just like we've done in the newer version. And under this option here, we also have the default fall location, which is currently set to the uh, uh, my documents folder. I notice here as well, as you can see, there's no browse button there, so maybe this is just the way Excel is. But I showed you how to work around that if, if that is the case for you. Go ahead and put in, get your uh, Dropbox. Yep, go ahead. Sorry, I had a brain fart. Go ahead and get your Dropbox address like I've done here. See this one here? This, in this tutorial, I have my Dropbox in a different spot because this was on a different computer. So you just find whatever address that you want, folder you want to put your Dropbox in and grab that address. Go ahead and paste that address into your default fall location here and then go ahead and press OK. So that's how you do it. So that's two different versions of Microsoft Excel and how to set it up. As you can see, they're both pretty similar. And other than the missing browse button, I don't know why this older version of Excel don't have a browse button. I don't know why the newer version don't it beats me. But obviously, this version had the exact same thing. So this must be deliberately done by Microsoft. I don't, I don't know why. In either case, that's how you do it, and if you wanted to know how to do it in Word, you pretty much saw me do it, but I do have another video to show you how to do it as well. If you have any questions, go ahead and comment below. I'd love to hear from you, and don't forget to subscribe. Have a great day.